Yeah. Recording, recording, recording. <laughs> All right, We're ladies, here. welcome Hi. to Coffee and Comics. It's been a while. It hasn't, but it feels like it's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. We keep skipping weekends. I know, we, we're busy. Hey, stop being so busy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, here we are today for you uh, to talk about the comics that are coming out on November mm -hmm. 28th, mm -hmm. which is insane because um, thanks, happy Thanksgiving, number one. Happy Thanksgiving. To everyone who I hope had a lovely Thanksgiving and you guys thought about everything you were grateful for. We're grateful for, for all of you guys and all of the support that you have given our geekiness and yes, cheers. weirdness. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, yeah, that's what I'm most grateful for. I think we've done a lot of growing this year, which is phenomenal. Yes. We've been at this for a while and it just feels really fulfilling to be able to do what we like and you guys like it. You guys like it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think that's awesome. It is. So let's talk about, let's just dive let's in. Let's hop in. Let's hop, hop in. Enough chitter chatter since. So what's coming out? <sighs> Hold on, let me, take a while. let me take one sip. I need to catch my breath here. So we start with Dark Horse usually. I don't have anything for Dark Horse. What do you have? So Stranger Things number three is coming out. Um, I Trace. Stress. I genuinely liked like Stranger Things. Um, this like four ish. I think it's four issues uh, that's Dark Horse is putting out just to show you what Will was experiencing or what Will was going through while he's in in the Upside Down. So if you're a fan of Stranger Things, I would I would consider checking it out uh, because you know Stranger Things isn't going to be coming back for a long time. <laughs> well, until at least this this summer is when it's expected to come Which out. Which is weird. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm hoping that, uh, I think they, they wrapped filming. Actually, I do follow the director of photography of the show on Instagram and he was giving away a denim jacket that uh, was, cool. it's like a vintage denim jacket from the 80s with embroidered Stranger Things on the back. So if you guys are interested in that, I think all the proceeds are going towards um, the Woolsey fires for in Malibu, mm. which ugh, that's uh, it's a very sad, touchy subject for, for a lot of people who lost uh, so much in California. Mm. But uh, yeah, so Stranger Things number three this week, November 28th. And DC. DC. We've got Batgirl number 29, which is actually, I was like, wow, number 29, that's, that's pretty awesome. The that's third, pretty good. The next one is going to be 30. And then I hope that it has a really extremely long run and they don't cut it short like they did Batwoman or Birds of Prey. I know Birds of Prey was because, you know, the Bunsen sisters are moving on. But um, it's really cool. It's gotten really, really dark mm. and really, like, you know, <laughs> violent. Yeah, that... And graphic. It is. Putting the graphic and graphic novel. Um, <laughs> that was really bad. You want a corny joke. <laughs> I'm allowed one. Okay? I'm allowed one. Um, so, yeah, and then... I think the second Old Lady Harley yes, is coming out. Old Lady Harley, which a lot of people mentioned it was lacking in substance in terms of plot and storyline, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of one of those reads that's just fun. You know, it's Old Lady Harley. She's still kicking ass and she's, she's still kicking it. She's an old lady. I mean, not even really. She's probably in her early. 50s, honestly. Yeah, I can't believe that's called old. <laughs> like, she, stop it. I'm 50. <laughs> she looks, I mean, she looks like around that age, 50, 60. Like, she's not like decrepit old lady right. with a cane or anything. Right. She's just got a sick, uh, like, fade. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty awesome. Got that high, high and tight. Was that tight and, what is it? Tall. What? what? Never mind. I don't know Moving anything on. about haircuts. Okay. <laughs> So, Image, I, Image, Image, this week, actually, there weren't many titles coming out. No. It was a pretty short list of titles for Image, yeah. which is pretty interesting, but they're probably just trying to ramp up for uh, December. And let's see, so you read Man Eaters. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. So, Man Eaters number three is coming out. Then we have Warning number one, which... I'll have to admit, it doesn't seem very interesting Isn't to me. it like Cowboys vs. Aliens or something like that? Very similar. I, I mean, it's like a Wild sci-fi. Wild West. It's sci-fi set in SoCal, so Southern California. 
and it's about extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrial, I'm just gonna list them all. Extraterrestrial cowboys. Not extraterrestrial cowboys, it's about the military. Oh, extraterrestrial <laughs> military cowboys. So, literally, it's like a sci fi series set in, or there's the military that's fighting some guy that needs to kill the aliens before they reach the Earth. And yeah, I mean, if you're into that, the artist and is a, uh, he does a lot of different a lot of other works outside of um, comics. He does animation and graphics stuff for like AMC and stuff. His name is Ed LaRock, I think is how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So if you know of this um, mm -hmm. creator and are interested in warning number one, I would suggest you check that out. Duh. So Marvel. Uncanny X-Men number three. They're just spitting them out. It's good. I've never been on a weekly release issue okay uh run before mm -hmm. excuse me my brain um so this is kind of exciting it's like instant gratification it's like yeah. next one next one's coming it's like hot potatoes it's pretty cool you, know, you gotta catch them but um the art is wonderful i'm liking the story i know a lot of people are just like mm, mm, mm. but mm. i'd say give it a shot um give it a shot that's uncanny x-men is there anything else for marvel not this week. Okay. Not That's all right. Week. That's okay. <laughs> so oh, then, wait. There is like a Spider-Gwen Spider-Ghost. Yes, there is. Coming out. And I thought that looked kind of cool, but like I get so overwhelmed with the, the Spider-Verse Spider the because there's so much and like I guess like anyone else would get overwhelmed when they first jump into yeah. a story. So I haven't really picked that up, um, any of them, but I think I might check this one out. Okay. I like ghosts. <laughs> Who doesn't like ghosts? <laughs> Unless you're being haunted, I guess you wouldn't like ghosts. Ooh, spooky ghosts. <laughs> so then, the last comic that I have on the list that is coming out this week is Hexwives number two. Just another witchy story that uh, I like to read. Um, but I think my favorite witchy story right now is Magic Order. It's very good and very dark, so I... I'm just shouting it out. I want to keep reading when that. When is that TV series going to come out? I have no idea, but I can't wait for it to be a TV series. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was going to be like, they come out with the comic, they come out with the, the series, comic, series. What, is no, it that mine? was my idea. Oh, that was your idea. <laughs> was but I felt idea. like that was a good idea. Yeah, that's a, it's a good idea, but no one's going to, no, who's no going to help us accomplish the idea of, of producing a show and then the next episode be a comic, and then the next episode be a show, and then the next I mean, episode. I mean, it sounds pretty cool, but you know what? In college, I had a class like that. Like, one class was online, other class was in person, <laughs> and it was like taking two separate classes. It was like the it was two well, classes worth of work. That's what I have to accomplish, and mm. it was too much. It was a one hundred level class, mm -hmm. and I was like, why is it like this? This is not a four hundred level class. A well, one hundred <laughs> level class? What was this like? It was uh, human. <laughs> and intercultural relations. I took a very inter funny class. Like, you know how in college you just have to fill up your schedule sometimes and with liberal arts things? Mm -hmm. So I took a class about the weather. I would have done that. It was like about natural disasters. I wish I could have done that. <laughs> anyway, liberal arts education is a ripoff anyway. They just want your money. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I want to know what you guys have. Um, if you guys did any buying uh, yesterday yesterday was friday oh my yeah what'd you yeah. buy what'd you guys buy did you guys get any good geeky what'd you stuff get? <laughs> get any good geeky deals or just I didn't. awesome yeah i didn't go shopping yesterday i mean we went shopping on thanksgiving <laughs> we got we went to michael's because michael's rules for crafts and stuff and i love christmas so i already finished decorating my apartment for christmas uh yesterday <laughs> i didn't start so, that I wanted to talk about Pokemon Detective Pikachu and well I guess not talk about it yes I just want to mention that I am super excited to get to get to see this movie it looks cute because as a very late 20s adult it's like I'm going to go see this movie and because Pokemon it was such a big part of my childhood I know you mentioned it wasn't that that um no that important for you as a kid no <laughs> but i loved pokemon <laughs> so much so i'm absolutely going to go see this movie and unless you're probably more excited about lion king 
No. No. <laughs> I mean, I was excited for it when it was the cast was first released. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't think it was a real cast list, I think it was just kind of like a fan made cast list. No, but, but Beyonce's in it. Beyonce is in it. She's in it. So I'll probably go see it maybe. Okay. And then what is really exciting to me is they announced the date that they're releasing the made for TV movie Timeless to finish up the series. Whoa, that's gonna be on December 20th and it's gonna be two hours. It's gonna be two hours and it's a great show. <laughs> If you like science, if you like time travel, if you like history, if you like science fiction, you need to watch the show. I just, I'm just. If you like government conspiracies, <laughs> you need to watch the show. I'm, All right, get caught up. It's only two seasons. It's on. It was on NBC. It should be on online. I'm both leaving. Seasons. I'm leaving it at that. And <laughs> you know, we we you gotta watch it. It's oh. Just, so good. It was a CW show. I can't watch it. It wasn't a CW show. I just said it was an NBC show. Even worse. <laughs> no, it is not. There's so many great. This Is Us is on NBC. Yes, it is. This Is Us rules. <laughs> I love This Is Us. And the Thanksgiving episode of This Is Us made me cry so hard because it I was haven't beautiful. Watched any of this season. <laughs> oh, someone mentioned Dumbo. Oh, Billy. Dumbo. Billy. Oh, I, I can't Dumbo. wait for Dumbo. Dumbo's not coming out until the summer, I thought, or next year. So, I thought I should share with you, Jenna, that Amazon dropped Doctor Who's next episode a bit early. Oh, did they? They did. I'm not sure if they took I didn't it know off. That. I'm not sure if they took it off, but they did. Was it an accident? Accidentally put it up <laughs> smidge too early. But oh. yes. Well, I mean, you have to buy them anyway on Amazon. One last question for you guys before we sign off. I want to know what your favorite Christmas movies are because, like I mentioned earlier, Christmas is amazing. I love Christmas. I love Christmas spirit. I love the spirit of giving. I love everything. <laughs> so I need to I need to add to my Christmas movies list because I just I love it. I love it so much. Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Just Friends. Just Friends. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just so weird. I went to go see it with like a few of my really close friends and we, it was just so ridiculous and out there that we just like had such a good time and I think that's why I cherish that movie so much. What was Just Friends? It's with Ryan Reynolds and Anna Faris. Anna, and Faris, Anna Faris is a yeah. pop star and Ryan Reynolds is this big shot music producer. Okay. Yes, I, I remember that movie. That's yeah. a cute movie. It is. That's kind of like I, I watched um, Daddy's Home 2. And I was like, I think this is gonna be added to my Christmas movies <laughs> list. It was a really cute, <laughs> like Christmas movie. Yeah. I like that one and um, Charlie Brown Christmas. Charlie Brown Christmas. See, every year, my mom actually messaged me yesterday. She's like, we're watching our movie. Our movie every year is Christmas Vacation. Like, I think I can recite word for word like the entire script is that of that Chevy movie. Chase? Chevy Chase, um, yep, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. It's a good one. It's a, a classic. That's a pretty much a classic. Like that one, like I always crack up laughing watching that one. Yeah, it's, especially it's, when it's the really grandma good. does the Pledge of Allegiance for Grace. <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to do that. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I've never had the balls to do that. So. Oh, I never was at a table where we said grace. Mm. So, well, I shared my Thanksgiving table with about three other priests. With three priests, so there's a lot of grace going on. <laughs> a lot of grace. <laughs> a lot of grace going on at that Thanksgiving table. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So send us your favorite Christmas movies. Yes. You know what you should also send us? What? A picture of your local comic book shop. Oh. Send us a picture of your local comic book shop and we will post it on our story because we are very thankful for all of you and for comics for giving us this platform to talk about things that we love mm -hmm. and we just want to spread the love. Yay! Sounds good. All right. uh, someone actually, I remember someone DM, DM'd us about a very geek related bar or geek, uh, geek, um, oh wait. Geek, geek themed bar. Thank you. <laughs> a very geek themed bar. So if you guys know any places like that, um, I'm always looking for a fun place to hang out. So send us that too. Cool. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Until next week, hopefully.